Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. Last time, we finished up everything to do in Aster's Lair. We grabbed all the gold gems. We beat Taurus in his Sasquatch beta. Today marks the day that we bring down the Empire. Well, not officially till the next video, of course, because, you know, I always have to split these into two. But you know what I mean. We're finally taking the fight to the Imperial HQ with the Clan War. Or Clan's War. I always call it the Clan War for some reason. This one is just a straight up fight, fighting one. Lots of Clancers wearing lots of hats. You got jetpack Clancers, you got ones with the little things, you got the cat robot Clancers. You can finally carry this thing around, which you can either swap between smart missiles, which fly over, over the area, or just heavy missiles. I always stick with the smart missiles, that way I don't have to aim. Everything isn't permanent though, so you do need to use it when you get a chance. Excuse me, I would like my smart missiles, please. Thank you. I believe this is broken up into four sections. Each section, you have to fight the Clancer and his walker. And unfortunately, that takes away your weapon. And we need to be super... Ow, careful, because the gold gem for this area is behind... There's a black Clancer with a top hat, and he's the one who carries the gold gem. Leave. It's not until the very end, though, so we can be a little ham on these guys. Go for a spread shot, though. Clancers are going to attack you from all sides of this level, so you need to be super careful. Make sure none try to sneak up on you. If you need to uh, grab a fresh new weapon, just look for one of the, the cat robots, and they'll always carry either an assault rifle or a, a smart missile launcher. Or I guess rocket pod would be the more accurate choice. Alright, that's the second walker out of the way. I don't even know why the Clancers are marching around in these things. They don't even have any weapons on them. At least the one back in the first Clans War, you know, was smart and strapped a rocket pod to it. Also, this kind of happy-go-lucky adventurer music is not really what I would expect from, you know, the mass murdering of the entire Imperial Army. I don't know, it just seems kind of out of place for this kind of level. Let's keep, keep pushing on. Nothing can stand in my way. All shall fall down for the power of Marina. Ow. Okay, I'm going to be the one who's doing the falling down if I don't knock it off here. Oh no, they've learned my technique of grabbing and throwing things. I need to know, does this thing actually do anything to you? Nope, he just marches back and forth. They never attached any weapons to these guys. I don't know if that was an error on the development part, or if these guys are just that incompetent. Alright, coming up to the final area of this level, we need to be super careful. Don't grab any weapons, and we need to keep an eye out for, I believe, you? Yep, you. I thought he was wearing a top hat, but the fact that I saw just the first Black Clancer... Because the, my notes said that he carried the... Also, the fact he has a lot of health on him. Kind of gives him away. I think he's the only Black Clancer you see in this area. There we go. Take care of that. Oh, of course, as soon as I say that, there's another one that sneaks up behind you. Ow, you jerk! Oops, didn't mean to throw my rifle away. Didn't mean to do that again, that was just a reflex, but, you know, I still got the triple kill for that one, so I'm alright with it. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Come here. Come on, let's go for a ride. And I'm just going overboard with just throwing my weapons all over the place. Last guy. And nope, he does not have a weapon on him either. They, these guys are just that incompetent. I mean, the mech pilots are. The troops are actually doing a pretty good job at kicking my ass. And that's it. We fought through the first wave of the Imperial defenses. And we are now officially inside the Imperial HQ. Well, closer to it at least. 
UFC rank. Kind of disappointing anyways. All right, we fought for the first wave of defenses, but now it's time for a counterattack. Do you think we can hold out against them? Or maybe we're the ones counterattacking. Nope, it's officially them. It's that one Clancer again. And he, we're out riding an ostrich. Don't ask me where we got the ostrich. It's a train secret. So he is a pretty... Uh, eh, boss. There's our gold gem. We missed it. Uh, well, we're going to have to come back here anyways, so might as well. I don't even get what he's trying... What is he... What is he even doing there? He's not even piloting the damn thing. He's like holding his arms above his head maniacally. Let's grab his beam again. Give it a good throw. And just keep throwing his bombs right back into him. And that's it for that guy. Very fast mission. And kind of disappointing that we didn't get the boss. We are the gold gem for it. What we were supposed to do, at least we got the A ring, so I'm happy with that. What we were supposed to do for the gold gem is we needed to actually take some damage and drop the beam as soon as it pops up in the air to grab it because if you hold on to the beam because it pushes you back a bit, you will not be able to grab that gem, period. Speaking of bees, and by bees I mean beams, whatever. Old friend Flambe is back! Or Flambe! I think it's Flambe. Or Flambe. I don't know. He's back. He's our friend. And we are going to be launching our full-scale attack on the Imperial HQ now. we got to fly up to it. The gold gem for this is a little weird. It's hiding inside one of the missiles that is being fired at you. You just need to give a random missile a good shake, and sooner or later, the gold gem will pop out. There it is! No! Ah! That's the worst feeling in the world. You finally get it, and then all of a sudden, nope, heavy winds are predicted for today. I mean, the bee could just, you know, fly back and, you know, so fly to the ground so I can go pick up the gem, but no. He's, a, he's his own kind of bee now. He does what he wants to do, not what I want him to do. Although I will say, these jetpack clancers, not really making things easier for me. Sort of a, a sort of a space harrier level where it's a, it's a pseudo shmup. And also, it's over right now. We've finally made it to the Imperial HQ. Thanks so much, Flambe. I'm still disappointed that you did not grab that gold gem for me. Another A rank. Excellent. We only it only took a minute, but I think you're guaranteed an excellent because uh, it's an auto-scrolling level. It just depends on how fast you are to the warp gate at the very end of it. It probably would have been a B rank had we gone over for a couple of milliseconds. And yeah, three levels in, and we're already fighting Mirko. Like I said, this chapter, very short, but still very story-heavy. Miss, your beauty is that of a beautiful devil, or maybe of a cruel angel, but that is only a thesis. In this game, I'm sure that I'm the cutest character of all, and who are you? My name is Mirko, but the ladies call me Dr. Smooth Love. Really? You don't say. So are you the boss of this stage? Not quite. I'm much more than a simple stage boss. Now you'll pay with your life. You need to show some respect. Normally, I don't fight girls. But you leave me no choice. So Merkel, he's kind of a difficult boss. I will say, he's the hardest of all the B-Sector ground fights. Uh, he's got a good counterattack when he comes to grabbing him. His pokes are pretty fast, and I believe one of the best way to do it, you can't grab his spear. That That's a trick uh, reticle right there. Anytime you grab his lance, his spear, whatever you want to call it, he will always do a counter swipe at you. What I think we need to do is we need, nope, we don't, I think we need to throw him up. And then throw, nope. I think we need to throw him up and then jump and grab him. Throw him up, grab. Ah. I always forget the proper way to fight this guy. Let's try and go for a shield. Nope. Go give him a good throw, and he uses his wings to counter the throw. Ah, he's such a difficult boss fight. They really ramp up the challenge for this at the end. Nope. I think we might be going into a continue at this point. Yep, we are down.
It had to happen again at some point. I'm actually kind of happy it took me this long to get it. But let's finally go back in with the max power that we need. Ready? Fight! Maybe we need to grab his lance when he thrusts it down at us. If, you know, I can actually throw him at the right timing. Nope, that wasn't it. Nope, he countered that as well. Throw it up, and... Nope, that wasn't it. Mirko. Mirko, come on, buddy. Come to my lane. That wasn't it either. Ah, so frustrating. There we go. It's really hard to pull off. We kind of need to get him while he's in the air. However, the, the timing for it is super, super small. They don't give you much of a window to actually do damage onto him proper. Excuse me, Marco. I'll be taking your shield, thank you. Oh, okay, and he just took it back. Thank you. I'll be taking that health, thank you very much. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take that from you. I'm gonna take your lance away from you as well. You've lost your lance privileges. Oh, and a gold gem? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, but he, he does teleport it back into his hands. Oops. Oh, that's new. I never actually have taken his lands from him before. I didn't know that that was it, and also that had the gold gem. Ow. Ow, death by a thousand needles. Wow, you dick. Uh, taking that lance from you, give me back the damn lance. If he's doing death by a thousand needles, it means he must be getting close to death. I'll take your lance, give it right back to you. And I whiffed it on the grab there. Oh, he's not giving me much time to hold on to it, either. Come on, Mirko. Mirko! Thank you. Nope, not this time. getting ridiculous now. You too cool for school, son of a... Mm. I need to angle it a bit more. There we go. Anti-air shields. Go! There we go. Finally, we got some decent damage onto him. Darkness covers the sky. Earth's in grave danger. Now listen carefully, miss. I can be myself for only a moment. Your destiny is to destroy the Emperor's plan. The Clancers are being controlled by the Emperor. The Emperor gave weapons to the Clancers and is trying to invade the Earth. At the same time, the Emperor is aiming to accomplish his true objective. Whoa, why are you suddenly so serious? I thought we were just horsing around. So, it turns out the members of the B Sector are all under mind control. That's disgusting. I'm surprised we did not get a D rank for that. 
Thankfully, our, you know, heavy concussions from Mirko broke him out of his control for a moment, and he told us what the true intentions of the Empire are, amass the Clancer army to invade the Earth. Oh, one of my favorite songs. Yes! To get through the warp ship, or the, through the warship, remember this one tip. If you use the statue technique wisely, you don't have you don't have to explode a clam bomb. Also, when you see a clam box, besides breaking it, you might consider not breaking it. Way to be as cryptic as ever, Miss Hint. Oh, you finally decided to strap weapons onto your mechs. Way to go, guys. It only took you, what, five missions in? Boink. Taking this with me, or not? I guess I just decided to ditch it. There must be a no, no mech thing, no mech rocket sign out front. All right, I need to remember how this goes because this is a bit of a puzzle level. We have to get through all this stuff with the clam box and stuff. To here, drop. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Jump back through here. I'll grab this, and that will open up a clam ball right up there. It's a shake. Give these a good shake. Back over here. Let's get this. And drop this right here. As as Miss Hint said. Oh. What does this do? Aha. Okay. Now I know. We can't let the clam bomb have so much momentum that, you know, we lose out on using it. So do that. Open the warp gate. Unfortunately, that resets everything. Back through here. I think through here was the... Nope, that was the reset. about here so it doesn't give so much momentum for the clam bomb. And thus, we have ourselves a free clam bomb that I believe, yep, only gives you 10 seconds. Come on, Marina. There we go. Grab ourselves... Nope, I don't want both of you. Actually, you know what? I kind of do want both of you. Both of those. And then, I believe to get the gold gem, we need to blow this up, go through this warp gate, and activate the clam ball right there. Doing so, give this clam ball a shake, activates the clam ball back down there. Excuse me, Mr. Grave. Give this a good shake, and there's our gold gem for the level. It's a very convoluted way, but I like the puzzle aspect to it. Just gotta watch these gun batteries. I don't even know what they're shooting at, unless, like, the resistance is here launching an attack alongside me. Anyways, you must be the captain of this ship. Now I need to remember how I'm supposed to beat him. There we go. Need to just body slam him right down as soon as he uses his grappling hook. Going for a swing, huh, buddy? Just spontaneously combust right in front of me as soon as I just slam him into the ground. I will never get over how funny it is. Is it? What do you have to say? Starting with this stage, you'll encounter bosses such as Phoenix Gamma. If you're not prepared, you better return to the previous stages to collect red, blue, 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 red gems. 
Now keep in mind that you must remove Mirko's shield and spear. You've made it this far, now don't forget the technique you've learned. You'll need them. Grab, sh eh. Grab, snap, shake, and throw. Remember to use these four moves properly. Yeah. It's time for a boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. But right after these credits. I'm guessing... Nope, not a B rank. Of course, I, I was fiddling around too much with the... The puzzle back there, so kind of just makes sense. But it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for. I never forgot why Gamma it's Roman numerals and R. Marco, same as the other uh, B sector boss fights. Beat him without taking any damage, you get yourself a gold gem. He's a bit of a pain to fight. Mainly, you, it, it's a double-sided boss fight. His uh, vehicle does more in the boss fight than the other B-Sectors do, even for Sasquatch Beta. Because it outright attacks you alongside Mirko, so you kind of need to have like a double vision to make sure you're getting both of, both of them at the same time. So dodge Mirko's uh, wave attacks and also the drill itself. And, you know, his multi-stab attack as well. His death by a thousand needles, as I like to call it. But he's in such a bad position because the shield's right next to him. And there goes our gold gem for the fight. I was trying to grab his lance, and... Oh, now we finally get it. Grabbing both of that, he's going to just start dashing back and forth. Thankfully, he does not go at an angle. So if you just hold out Bubble Owen while he's doing that, then you should be able to take care of him, no problem, during that phase. The hardest part is, of course, you know... You know, getting his stuff from him. On to the third phase. Uh, Mirko's just going to be standing there all too cool for school on top of his uh, bird mech. And it turns into a bit of like a, a bullet hell shooter at this point. With all the different wave beams being shot at you. Need to be super careful because this is one of the easiest boss fights to actually get a rain out on. Need to wait for it to do a bunch of pecs. Ow, ow. Might as well just take damage. Also need to be super careful. After one hit, Mirko will start using his uh, wave attack at you. Yep. Two, three. Go up. Got it. Launch him. And finally, we get this weird view. I kind of like it. This is probably the most thematic of all the B-Sector boss fights. Which, you know, makes sense. Also, I don't even know what plane of existence this takes place in. So Phoenix Gamma, launch a bunch of missiles. All we gotta do is grab one. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, and now I'm paying the price for it. Wait for him to launch another missile volley. We'll have to wait for the machine gun to end, though. Should be launching them right about now. There it is. Grab one of the missiles. Hopefully, there we go. And this is all done by itself. Throw it right back at him. And that's it for Mirko and Phoenix Gamma. He doesn't even have a deaf dialogue. He is too cool for that. But what's this? The prof isn't with us. Finally, Marina defeats her strongest enemy, the Beast Sector. Imperial HQ is just ahead. You must rescue the Prof for sure this time. Say, here's a useful tip. The time required to clear the stages is ranked from A to D. If you get the A rank for your record, something will happen. Oh, something definitely will happen. Grabbing is where you must begin, shaking for treasure from within, throwing far is how to win. Ultra Intergalactic Cyborg G Marina, there is no time for shakes. Or snacks. There's no time for snacks. There's always time for shakes. Venus Gamma has been taken care of. And what's this? Mm. Mm. Where am I? I remember, I was kidnapped. <laughs> Who are you? What is this place? What are you going to do to me?
<laughs> Welcome, Professor Theo, to my Imperial Forces HQ. What? That means you're the boss of the Imperial Forces. Who do you think you are? Why are you getting the Clancers to do your dirty work? <laughs> you don't recognize me, do you? You're Leo, my brother! Leo, so we meet again. So, space isn't big enough for the two of us. Leo, I see you're up to your old tricks. How many times must I tell you this? Enough is enough. Crime doesn't pay. Talk about someone not changing. You're still acting like a big brother. You couldn't possibly be this upset over how bad I am. Or are you? Leo, what is your next move? I want power, and lots of it. With power, I can control this chaotic and cruel world. Leo, why can't you see that such a goal will only cause more battles to be fought? As always, I knew you wouldn't get it. At times, bro, power is needed for a bigger purpose. I am through talking. Take care, big brother. I'm a man with a mission. Wait, Leo! The twists just keep on coming. Next time on Mischief Makers, we're going to take the fight to the Imperial HQ and bring an end to the Empire once and for all with some inner struggle. See you all next time. Later.